welcome. Welcome to the humble abode. Thank you. You have a really nice house. I thought you said you were a mover. Oh, uh, well, yeah, you know, I'm not actually doing the moving. I work, uh, you know, in management, you oh, know. I see. Well, you have a really pretty room also. Um, do you want to go back downstairs and start studying, maybe in the kitchen? Oh, uh, no, you know, I actually like to study here in the bedroom. It's where I uh, do my best thinking. Oh, um, yeah. okay. Um, well, I suppose we should get started. Okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah, these are the notes uh, we took in class. Do you remember uh, us talking about this last week? Mm, maybe. Okay, so we were talking about how the market is fueled by um, supply and demand. You know, mm -hmm. and demand refers to how much the, um, you know, uh, how much people are willing to buy the product and need the product, you know, and supply is how much the companies then can supply of the product. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I think, I think I get that. Yeah, and so then we were talking about how, you know, depending on the item, the more the price is, the less demand there is for it because, you know, um, yeah. Anyway, if we, if we go down more, you see there, we have this graph and we looked at this in class, do you remember um, do you remember this? I really like this shirt on you. It's really pretty. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I remember you, uh, you, uh, showing us that. Yeah. And so here you can see the price goes up and then the quantity. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. So the higher price of a good, the lower the quantity demanded. And, um, yeah, the lower the price, the more the good will be in demand. So common items, um, have have lower prices because more people need them. This is hot in here. Take this off. All right. So showing the bundle loss supply now. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm learning a lot. Thanks for coming. Okay. So see the law of supply. We also looked at this graph here and see how it's flipped around the other way. And it, you know, it's kind of relating to what I was just saying. How um, the the price of the item will reflect the quantity needed. Um, um, I thought we were we were here to study. Oh, well, go ahead. Oh, don't mind me. You know, I just yeah, you know, I was admiring your shirt. It's very pretty on you. Well, thank you. Um. Anyway, so the relationship between the two um, is shown here. See how, because each line goes in a different way, each graph points in a different direction. When we overlap them, they intersect in the middle, and that's called equilibrium. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Equilibrium. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's when the supply meets the demand. And the demand meets the um, amount of things being produced. Yeah. So, um, what would you do for fun? Um, we should really keep on studying. Uh, yeah, that's what. I mean, I'm just wanting to get to know you, that's all. <laughs> yeah, you had me over for tutor lesson, though, because your grades are failing, so I think that, you know, we should we should keep on stuff. Oh, I was just trying to get to know you. I mean, you seem like a cool chick, you know? I study economics for home. Really? Like this, yeah. yes. So all my friends and I, we all sit down and we read things like this. Okay. You don't do anything else? Nope, I grade your papers. Hmm? I mean, you could show me how that would be fun. Um, yeah, if you got good grades, that would be fun. Well, I mean, I get grades, good grades in other ways. Hmm. I can show you. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> See, so we have...